Hi guys and welcome to our first video on YouTube. Um, if you've been following us on Instagram then you know that we're currently in the Arctic Circle in Norway. Um, if not then that's where we are. Um, we've been asked by a few people to do this um, with us making video content anyway. We thought we'd give it a go. For anyone that doesn't know we're currently in the Arctic Circle uh, just onto the Lofton Islands in Norway. We left Cornwall on the 27th of December um, and have been heading up through Sweden ever since, up the E45 through the centre, E10, and then across to, to Norway. The overall plan was to see if that we could survive a winter in the van that we've built for the task. Um, we've had our fair share of issues. If you haven't followed us on Instagram already, um, obviously we've had issues with diesel heater that died down in minus 25. We ended up having to get studded tyres because our van just couldn't handle it in the in the ice that we were experiencing um but yeah let's get on with today's jobs and first of all start clearing the van of all the snow and ice from last night Where we are is just onto the Lofton Islands. Um, as you can see in the background, all very pretty. Um, but Jess decided that she wants a rucksack out from under the bed. Now, after our disasters, which if you follow us on Instagram, you'll have seen, uh, under here is a little bit of a mess. And that's not even all of it. I've already got some of it out on the floor there. So. <clears throat> let's try and get this tidied up and then we can get on with our day now I know to most people this probably doesn't look much different than it did before but at least now I know where everything is so you've got your levelling ramps you've got your ang ground anchors electrical, heat gun jack stand uh, 10 ton jack ice clearing equipment you've got your tools, you've got your clothes like extra bits and bobs then the back ones we've got food um, and then just like general outdoor stuff. And then we've got the spare water can, drip mats, blanket that we cover the whole garage over with when it gets too cold. And then if none of you have seen this before, we've got all our recovery gear and bits and bobs on that door, including winch blanket. And then this side, we've got sort of emergency stuff. So you've got um, jump pack, spare battery cable, uh, length of cable for the van, bungee cords, because you can never have too many bungees. Uh, first aid kit, thermal blanket and extra hose which you can see is used for the hot water system in there um, but yeah at least now I know where everything is um, and yeah should be easier to get stuff
Today we're heading to Svalbard, I believe it's pronounced, on the Lofoten Islands. And we're honestly finding it so difficult not to stop and just keep filming stuff. I mean, look out over there. fishing hut in Svolva. Um, Jess is behind the camera just wincing at the pronunciation of that. Um, let's head inside and go and have a look. So as you head inside, it is just stunning. We've got a little seating area here, looking out with the view. Here's another seating area here which then leads you through into your kitchen. If you then swing back over this way, Jess, you go through to what is the master bedroom, and you've got a nice big bed, through with an ensuite bathroom, which is a lovely addition when you've been in a van to have a shower that you don't have to keep pressing buttons for. We've had some snow overnight. Um, it's all cleared up nicely now though. You can see the round sun's starting to come out. So we decided to go for a walk into town um, just over this quite icy bridge that's behind us. And uh, yeah, let's take you along and see what we can find for the day. We're currently at a town called Svolva, um, which is halfway down the Lofoten Islands in Norway. It's got a population of about 4,000 people, and its main exports generally, like much of the Lofoten Islands, are cod. Um, we've just had a fantastic lunch at a place called. Just looking at it. Bacalao? Bacalao. Yeah. Um, so I had mulls free, and you had. The fish soup. And to be honest, the food was absolutely really fantastic, good. wasn't really it? Good. Really good. Um, so we're currently heading back to our cabin now. Um, we'll show you just how much snow came last night, if it's still sat on top of the van when we get back. Um, but yeah, we'll catch you later on when we're back at the cabin. This is the ice walk shuffle down the bridge. It's like Macapaca with a rucksack. So, we've been out for the day, we've come back to the cabin, just like to show you just how much snow came down last night. I mean, to be fair, most of it's melted off up there, but we then got ploughed around so you could get down to our cabin, which is down there. But yeah, this place is absolutely stunning. It's mountains nearly on every side. So against my better judgment in this, Jess has decided to convince me that going to a sauna 
will be a good idea. So behind that building over there, there is a floating sauna with a ladder down to the water. Now the water on the bridge that we've just walked over to get here um, has ice floating in it. So we'll see how this goes. I'll catch up in a minute. And this is the ice I'm talking about. We're gonna be getting in just around the other side of this building. Wish us luck. So we've just finished in the sauna. Inside the sauna was 90 degrees? Yeah, more than about 98 at one point, yeah. Wow. And then one of us decided to jump straight in the water. No guesses as to who that was. <laughs> While the other very gently walked down the ladder. But yeah, I think it, it was, was a good. Freezing. I think it was a good experience though. Yeah, it was really good. And then uh, yeah, back to our cabin, making the last of our use of the last of our daylight ish that we've got now to get back. So that's it for today guys. Thank you for watching our first YouTube video. Um, for the rest of the week we will be driving down towards the end of the Lofoten Islands um, and then deciding whether we get the ferry across to Bodo um, or whether we drive all the way back up. Honestly the drive in was stunning so we might end up just driving it back um, but we'll see how that goes. So thank you for watching. Um, we'll see you in the next video.